everyone, your community television station. Of course, on segment two, and I hope the break wasn't too long for you. Come on, to while our Filipino watches. We've actually got um, the guys and girls in from Globe. We've got Mark Grogan on this side of me. Lovely to have you here, Mark. Thank you very much, Tabitha. Are you excited? Oh, absolutely. That meaning me, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Sarah Davis next to me. Hello. Is it Davis or Davis? Davis. Davis, lovely. Very Welsh. Very well. Shirley Bass is well, isn't she? Indeed she is. Well, can you sing? No, God, I wish I was. I wish I could. <laughs> we'll give you a go in a minute. And Peter Stevenson on the end here. Hello, next to me. Nice to have you here. <laughs> As long with our fellow um, squealers. Now, GLOBE. What, what, is, what is GLOBE? GLOBE stands for Gay and Lesbian Organisation of Business and Enterprise. It's quite a mouthful, isn't it? It is a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was established around about, I think, 1992, during midsummer back then, in the early days. A group of uh, uh, people from the community got together and GLOBE was established. Why did you get together and establish? Well, I wasn't quite there at the time, but I think the, the idea of it was for these people to bring together their skills in business uh, for networking and to socialise. So do you, do, you, do you get together and do stuff for like other communities or just to promote your own businesses within each other? Generally to, to promote businesses within the group itself, yeah, <laughs> and to socialise and to have a good fun. time. So yeah, but that's, that's good because then you're all helping each other out. Yeah, that's right, yes, yes, and it's grown in leaps and bounds since then and we're, we're, we're now seeing... Uh, How many people are in like Globe? We have around about 300 members at the moment, and we, we seem to be collecting a lot of new members every week, so if you're out there and you want to become a member... So how do they do that? Where do, where do you guys meet? Okay, we meet um, on our drinks night. The, uh, we have the Fruits and Suits, which I think I all the guys say, here know. <laughs> what part does Fruits and Suits play? That's in when the globe. guys get together. It's a drinks night, and that's when you, you get to uh, meet peop or people and we encourage new members to go. Okay, yep. And for the women, we have Lemons with a Twist, which is the fourth Thursday of every <laughs> month. And we have that at the Grace Hotel. That's a fabulous name. Lemon with a Twist. Lemons yeah. with lemon's a twist. very bitter, and you go, ooh. Oh, but it's with a Twist. No, but these are called lesb <laughs> Lesbians Lemons. Yeah, that's Did right. That? Yes, you're a lemon. Oh, she's a lemon, yes. You don't know I've changed the name several times. No straight man would ever say that. They would at no. primary school. They do. They do. do. She's she a lemon. Because she's like a bad scrubber, probably. Do you know what I mean? Like, she won't go with a boy. Because she's a bad... Sorry, darling. Huh? Keep going, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Hi. Um, now, I was going to... What do you what do? You do? do you have individual sort of role there? or? Yes. Uh, each of the committee members tends to look after a different area of uh, the organisation. I run the fruits and suits. Sarah's looking after the dinner functions. Mm -hmm. um, Mark is our president. So and I don't do anything. The figurehead. Oh, <laughs> he's the head. Yes. I'm just there. <laughs> and um, there are lots of other people in the committee. Um, marketing, uh, PR and newsletter. We have a monthly newsletter as well that goes out to all our members. So you have to be a gay or lesbian business to join? Uh, or individual, as a professional person. Um, they're in the uh, Globe as well. Oh, fantastic. I think it's important to say that most people think that mm. Globe is for, for businesses, but it's actually for individuals, so anyone can join. Uh, you prostitute down the street. Correct. Yeah. That's, right. that's, that's fine. And uh, uh, if they want to make it a social event or a networking uh, opportunity, it's entirely up to them. Yeah, print your business card and go for it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. add fruits, yes. Well, you know, the best night at the exchange... Oh, here we go. The best night at the exchange that you could possibly want to go is after a Fruits and Suits meeting on a Thursday night. Third Thursday in the month. Ooh, I well, tell you. I, I picked up one of those pretty boys in a oh, suit really? one night. Yes, <laughs> after the show. I was was he Greek? He wasn't Greek, but it, no, he's quite lovely. But <laughs> he's probably vice president yeah, he... of the bank. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't oh. let's start oh. that story. I didn't ask what he did. I sort of was too busy. No, he's referring to me. Oh, have you been filthy with one? Come on, spit it out. <laughs> no, <I'm> not. <laughs> did, you it out? did you get the loan? <laughs> vice president of Citibank. I dropped the card. <laughs> you don't meet Globe, them exchange very of often. Of course, Globe doesn't endorse that sort of. Activity. <laughs> no, you promote it, but you don't endorse it. So, we've got an, a, another event coming up soon. What's we the next have event? in uh, on Cup Eve. We've got um, a horse racing uh, dinner at uh, Mooney Valley. Bareback. Well, mm. you know, if you like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we the, don't the endorse that either. Well attended. And it's really a good night. Really great night. Mm. 
That's because you'll get to socialise and mix around, coordinate. Yeah. We want to make sure it's fun and interesting yes. and that people can enjoy themselves. And, and uh, we have to make sure that all our functions provide you know, a bit of life and a bit of activity. And that's you what uh, we do. a training club or something. Like We're going to call it the Kumquat Night. <laughs> 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 Lemons and kumquat. <laughs> kumquat don't fall that far from the tree, do they? <laughs> They're very juicy. <laughs> Full of all different stuff. We're going over now to the news desk with Aaron. Thanks, Tabby. Um, here at Bent TV, we have a mission statement. All of the people here at um, Bent TV, our mission is to put queer faces on television, to create television for and by the queer community for the, the queer community and encouraging um, the involvement of the gay, lesbian, bisexual and transgendered communities and uh, for the cre creation, production and broadcast on television of both the particular interests of queers and the wider interests of the general viewing public. And you can also assist us here by becoming a member of um, Bent TV and that's $20 a year and $15 a year in the concessional rate. Also our fabulous Bent TV t-shirts and also our caps are available as well at just $20 each. And you get Aaron in the t-shirt. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> no, that, that, that's a little bit more than $20 a year. <laughs> and um, if you want to contact us here at Bent TV um, at the address that um, is coming up on your screen now and um, there's also a phone number you can give us a call here at Ben TV. Oh, yeah. um, call us here at Ben TV. We'll be happy to provide you with further details. Okay, back to you, Tabby. Thanks, Aaron. So, of course, if you would like to come on, have part of this fun, which we call Squill, just give them a ring, leave your name and number, and you two will be getting to meet the sensational guests and people we have here. Thanks, Lois. <laughs> Now we're going to some more footage of behind the scenes at Joy Melbourne 90.7 on your FM dial. Here we are at Joy Melbourne. I'm here with John Jennings and we're going to meet some of the very important volunteers here at Joy Melbourne. Well, one of our most important volunteers is Chris. Chris is our membership coordinator. And he looks oh. after the membership base. It's rather an extensive... <laughs> set of facts and figures and uh, the problem is of course to keep it up to date as you know we're a very transient population and we keep moving around we don't like to lose track of everyone and of course you need more volunteers all the time is that correct we certainly do we use our membership as our uh, start for volunteers and sally who's just at my shoulder here hi sally hello M Sally manages the specific group of our members who end up being volunteers not only in the office here but for s lots of our other functions. Come in and say hi to us Sally. I was actually going to take you down to see Sally because Sally's also a very important okay. person. Well let's come and have a look at some more important people. Thank you very much. Well, I think I could get used to a job like this on a computer except I can't work a computer but Come on, Sally. What Sally do you do over well, here? As, as, as I say, Sally, as well as being um, uh, a presenter on Joy, is also Joy's accountant. Accounting and admin officer. So th they, there you are. That, that, that just There's proves. the dreaded checkbook. <laughs> so do you think you could write us a check? A uh, hundred thousand would be fine. Oh, sorry, what, what was this one the back? John Jennings <laughs> Super Fund. No, no, <laughs> nothing of the sort. It's all been emptied into the John Jennings Super Fund. Of course, we're only joking. We're having a bit of a gig here at Joy Melbourne because being a gay and lesbian organisation, we don't take life too seriously, although there are very serious issues to deal with. Now, this is where it all happens. Money, membership, people putting tapes in containers and styling stuff and, and making up ideas and going on the radio. So if you'd like to do that, please call Joy Melbourne on... 969-00907. They could do it with your help. We could do it with your help as a community. So call them now on this number... 969-00907. God, they're good. I think I've done this before. I'm Steve Anderson, reporting live from Joy Melbourne Radio, 90.7 FM. Ooh. Oh, and that was the footage, of course, our lovely roving reporter, Steve Anderson and John Jennings from 90.7, uh, uh, go at that station, Joy Melbourne. And, and you both support it and stuff and ring up and you can join them and do that in the great. And if you want to, if you want to be a host on their show and stuff, you can't. Now... Fruits and suits, globe peoples. What else is going on? You were mentioning something about mentors. We are developing a mentor program so that members of globe can utilise the services of other members 
for example, accountants or solicitors. So uh, we would. Is like that based on like a barter system or anything, or do you have to pay? Well, it would depend on the circumstance of what the member requires. So oh, if someone okay. was looking at setting up their own business and yeah. needed a, an accountant to do some book work or for someone to do some legal work, then we'd be able to provide the, the two of them to get together. Okay. We're also looking at uh, a model um, which the Sydney Group uses, and that's a scholarship program where we actually provide money to a gay student to uh, to help with their studies. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, so we're looking at setting that up as of next year. They don't have to be in a specific course or...? Well, really, the, the universities will run the scholarship, so it's up to them to decide how, how the money is spent. But we will give them the guidelines and the support, and hopefully we look forward to... So it's to not necessarily someone studying social studies into gay and lesbian history or...? No, no. no there could be a mechanic. No. Yeah, exactly. Do that. Yeah. Sponsoring a lot of hairdressers. <laughs> yes, 90% of applicants. <laughs> and we're also involved with uh, Midsummer for the Art Award, which is uh, being held next year. Uh, we've been doing this for about four years now, I think, mm. and uh, it's going to change for the year 2001, and uh, we look forward to uh, announcing that in the next few weeks. Hey, in do you have any like, um, entertainment at your... Monthly meeting, you don't have, you know, the drag queens no, get they up. They go exchange for a free show, you know. Well, afterwards, yeah. <laughs> they see Barbara no. and Candy on that Thursday. Well, do you have a speaker? Or? We have guest yeah. speakers at our, at our monthly dinner, so that's Now, it. you'd be good at that. Oh, I, yes, I would love to do that. But we, what we're going to do now, we're going to have a quick little bit of a break. We're going to relax. We're going to calm down. We're going to have a bit of Milo now for you guys and you know, girls. Hang on. I think you should do a number in the next show. Yeah. Oh, you don't really want me to do yeah. a number. Yeah. yeah. I'll do a number next show, Vivian St. James, only if you um, you can actually introduce me. You'll have to actually sit in the chair, the lucky chair with the cushion. I don't know if I'm up to that. You will be after the break, because now we're going off for a little while, so you can go and do what you like, probably pull a cone or something. <laughs> that's about yours. Let's face it, that's what you're doing. An ice cream cone, Monique. You turn your ice cream cone upside down, you bite the end off and you suck the ice cream back. Can you do that when you're a young child? My God, get it together. These connotations. I don't know what's going on in here. Up, I'm mad, up, I'm mad, up, I'm mad. And I will be back with you performing. A sensational number, hopefully, fingers crossed. I might see I've got something in my bag, probably about one of five. So, until then, enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>